Hi everybody, welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. Well I went out today primarily with four flies. Three have been modified and one was totally new but working off an old type of fly. It was a very good day. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Here we go, on a little big boat. Where's he going to set? There he is. There he is. Get in there. Look at this. Hey. It's coming, coming, coming for it, coming for it. It's on. The best thing about today, the weather, absolutely horrible. Started off fine for the first hour and then just rained and rained and rained. What's good about that? Other anglers stayed away. There was loads of space. There was only about seven of us on the water. So I got myself a sporting ticket because I always tend to catch a lot more fish on a sporting ticket. This is why this video is 18 minutes long. Primarily I come to Pennine to uh, test out the flies that I make. I fished a beaded spider only twice a year and caught on it. I was on a sporting ticket, I had eight hours to mess around with. I thought I'd give it half an hour. Didn't let me down, I caught on the third cast. Again, primarily today I had four different flies. This was the first of them. <laughs> Here we go, on a little big boat. This beaded spider had fished before on previous videos and caught fish, but I didn't stay on it too long. But I decided because I was in a different area than before, floating line, 14 foot leader, same setup as before, then brought it back, figure eight or six inch strips. Whenever I fish the beaded spider at Ryburn, which is its primary home, well for me it is, I fish it on an intermediate line and a minimum 15 foot leader with it being the point fly and I might put a bibio at 10 foot and I fish it back really fast, quick 12 inch pulls. Ryburn is not heavily stocked but I do get a lot of fish out of it, talking of fish, six or seven fish on this video and I don't know what it is about Pennine. You get a four pound fish on, it thinks it's a 10 and it's taken me two and a half minutes on average to get the fish into the net because it's darting here, it's going deep, it doesn't want to come to the surface, it might be that time of year where it's just physically a really fit fish. They're not sluggish at all and you'll hear me on the video at certain points giving it, come on, turn right, trying to lift it, trying to guide it towards my net only to get it so close and it just turns and goes again i'm on a light tippet i don't want it snapping I don't want to lose my flies i don't want to leave a fly in a fish's mouth although they are bad try and get them in as quickly as possible that's my objective but when the fish wants to fight you it's not coming easily anyway let's land this one Nice little rainbow. Right 
So that's that Fisher Way redesigned fly. Olive leech. In this case, it's got a hard body. Take the fritz off it. Put an orange head on it, as well as some gold heads. But Gary says orange will work it well. So that's what I put on this one. Intermediate line. Let's see how we get on. It's coming, coming, coming for it, coming for it. It's on. I'd had one or two pulls on the fly before I hooked my first one. But again, intermediate line, sent it out. Because there's a little bit of weight to it, I decided to see if any fish would take it on the drop. I then give it 6 inch strips, 12 inch strips. Give the odd roly poly. And then the next time I used it, let it drop down to about 6 foot. Same again. Had probably 4 takes on this. Landed 2. I think one of the footages is missing. That's a problem with GoPros. It's on your head. You think it's running, it's not. I caught an absolute belting fish left of the cages. When I struck into it, skidded along the water towards the bank, made a right noise. I had a witness because there was a guy fishing off to my left, just saw it coming towards him. He actually said, that's my fish. No, it's not mine. It's gone now. But this new leech with the orange head. First time I in, quite pleased with it, but it's not the main one that was catching the most fish. Something similar, but a little bit of a twist in it. But anyway, let's land this one. This actually came in quite quickly. <laughs> As I said, I didn't land all my fish, but here's two that were very lucky. They were going back anyway. Fish coming for it. Oh yeah. So this was the fly that got me the most fish. I'd basically stretched it out. We'll talk more about it once I've hooked into this one. When I fished the river colder, I used streamer flies. So I had a few streamer hooks knocking around, size 10 and size 12. So I decided to that do a leech fish. pattern, but with a longer hook, hoping that, because I'm rubbish at tying snakes, with it being a longer hook, there's more possibility that I will hook a fish. And that proved right. This caught more fish than the smaller leeches with a size 10 short hook. But these streamer hooks, they're not the strongest in the world. So I've just ordered another 100 quite strong, which should arrive uh, in a couple of days. And I'm going to rejig this even more. But well impressed. Nothing like catching fish on your own fly. I didn't originally design it or create it, but I made it. And I know people will ask me, do you sell them? Let's think about that. I work 40 hours a week as it is. But anyway, let's land this one. Come here. <clears throat> So sticking to the same fly, same setup, just cast into another area. I had bags of space.
the weather was getting quite lousy now. It didn't forecast rain right until the afternoon, but for some reason in Lancashire it came early. The GoPro with the microphone mounted on the top was getting hit by rain, so I've dampened the sound down a lot on this clip. As I said, there's only about seven or eight people on the top lake. Loads of space. I actually stood high up on the damn wall. I wasn't at water level because one, I could cast it to the right, cast it forward, cast it left. And this sun rate intermediate line I'm using, I could get that distance. Although I do say some fish are very close in but I wanted this to sink down I wanted this fly to get right down there was some surface activity but saying that there are hundreds of fish in this water where are they because there wasn't hundreds of splashes they were down and that's where I were going from but I was more than impressed with this long version or the long hooked version of this olive fly I even took refuge in the hut at one point I wasn't weak I was just absolutely so and I needed to get myself dried up pretty quickly I could have stayed for the whole day if it was reasonable weather but I was kitted out but I was still getting wet but I was catching fish so my mind was distracted quite happily from the weather this fly's working more than happy but again it's taking time to get these fish in I believe I lost the bigger fish due to these hooks on these long shank leeches because when I brought it in near the end or one of them because I've made a few of them the hook wasn't really in the position it was supposed to be in so I think that's what enabled that fish to get off that's why as I've said I've ordered some really good decent strong ones they work on the colder as well I wonder if this will work on the colder the season opens up in about a month's time I'm gonna have to give it a go Anyway, let's land this one. Coming up, it's the smallest fish I have ever caught at this water. Still a nice fish, but it's the smallest one I've ever caught. Let's land this one. They are, as I say, hard fighting fish here. So I decided to put on an olive orange short head leech with a bit more of a fluffy tail so I had a few of them with me. Did about nine of them with nine gold heads as well and hooked myself the smallest trout I have ever caught at this location. But here, a fish is a fish and they all add up. Trying to go for stony track. Um, got him on the drop. Oh, look a baby. But everyone count. I should say, got it on the the ham. This pattern's proving a good little fish. And fly it out. Let's have a look. Oh, there's only a little baby. So this footage is taken from my GoPro that's mounted on a bench. The weather affected the lens, blurred it, but I forgot to switch the one on my head on. Weather was getting horrible. I was probably going to give it one or two more casts, then I was going to call it a day. I went out to test these flies. If anybody's asking, where's the fourth one? The fourth one was a gold-headed leech. Again, no excuses. I caught one or two fish, but the GoPro wasn't switched on. But long shank version, that worked the best. Going to redevelop that. This is my days out at Pulet, all it is 
I'm not a professional, I'm an enthusiastic amateur. I like to try things out. I did today, this work. I'll probably develop it a little bit more, stronger hook as I said. But most of all, thanks very much for watching everybody. Thanks for the thumbs up and the thumbs down. I don't care, I know you are anyway. But this is my 230th video of Me and My Days Out. So again, it is really much appreciated. And especially all the people I meet at the water. I have a really good conversation with everybody. But yeah, we have a good little community. I'm glad to be a part of it. So keep well, everybody. And I'll catch you all in the next video.